Hi, this is Frank. In this video, I show how I have increased the size of my mag loop to improve transmit performance and maybe give you ideas on how you can improve your own mag loop. Usually we have small portable loops that are convenient, but the efficiency is limited mostly on transmit. Having a Chameleon F-Loop 3 with the standard 102 inch loop and also the 146 booster cable, I wanted to improve the transmit efficiency by increasing the loop size. With the 66specific.com website, link is in the description, I calculated the efficiency of the standard 102 inch loop to be 52% on the 20 meter band. With the booster cable, it is 76%. I had the idea to join two 102 inch loop together, but instead of doubling the loop, I would use it as one single big loop. The length is 205 inches and the efficiency is 90% on the 20 meter band. Now let's look at the three loop sizes on 20 meter, 40 meter and 80 meter bands. With the 102 inch loop, I got 52%, 9% and 1%. With the 146 booster cable, I got 76%, 22%, and 3%. Lastly, with the 205 inches big loop, I got 90%, 44%, 8%. When using a bigger loop like the 205 inches as a single loop, we immediately find that number one, the supplied telescopic mast is too short. So we replace it with a five foot monopod, which is normally used for cameras and adapted to fit using several 3D printed parts, nuts and bolts. This allows to use the smaller loop size as well as bigger loops. Number two, the supplied inner loop is too small. So we made a new inner loop using aluminum. The approximate ratio is one fifth or 20% of the outer loop. In this case, it is 13.5 inches. Using several tools, we were able to reproduce a inner loop that looks pretty much like the original. Victor Echo 2, Fox Golf Julia. Golf Japan. Victor Echo 2, Fox Trot Golf Julia. Me to Fox Golf Japan. Thank you, Frank. I give you a 58 with me, okay? QS Alien has your 59 in Quebec. Good luck. Thank you, I appreciate it, Frank. 73. 73. Victor Echo 7 1 Alpha. Victor Echo 2, Fox Golf Julia. Again? Victor Echo 2, Fox Golf Julia. 7 Charlie Go. Okay, negative. Victor Echo 2 Go. Victor Echo 2, Fox Trot Golf Julia. Victor Echo 2, Foxtrot Golf Juliet, QSL. Okay, V2 FGJ, 59, thanks. QSL, you're 59 in Quebec. Thank you for the contact. Thank you. Next station, double the bandwidth. Using the 205 inches loop provides a wider bandwidth and is also easier to tune. After several successful transmissions up to 30 watts in CW, we decided to get rid of the coupling barrel in between the two loops to make one single cable. This is important. What we discovered with this new cable is we could not get a good SWR above 10 watts. That puzzled us for a while. After several tests, we put the previous cables back with the barrel coupler and yes the SWR was good all the way to 30 watts in CW. We eventually realized that both PL259 connectors were making contact on the inner loop. That certainly changes the coupling behavior. I'm not an engineer, I cannot explain how or why, but it does work much better if the outer loop makes contact with the inner loop with this scenario. Maybe some of you watching can comment and explain why this is happening. 
With a bigger coaxial loop, expect that the wind will bend the coax and may detune the coupling as it wobbles. My solution is to orient the loop 90 degrees perpendicular to the wind. That pretty much minimizes the wobble. In conclusion, you can improve the efficiency of your mag loop by increasing the loop and the inner loop sizes, calculate what best fits your requirements, experiment, and I would love to see your own experiences or questions in the comments below. Good luck on your build. This is Frank signing out and thanks for watching 73.